Tencent King Secure Lab is a worldwide leading security research team. We have strong capabilities in the desktop and the mobile security research categories. In recent years, actually we deliver strong capability in the new categories, such as connected intelligent cars, IoT products, cloud computing and virtualizations, as well as artificial intelligence. Especially in the connected and intelligent cars category, we made great progress and uh, we believe that the good research will be beneficial to the vehicle industry and really help to protect hundreds of millions of drivers, passengers, and the pedestrians around the world. Samuel, why did Tencent Keen Security Lab chose the security of connected intelligent cars as a new focus research area? That's a very good question. So when we talk about cybersecurity of connected cars, it is not only user data security, uh, personal property security in the PC or mobile world, but user safety when driving. Furthermore, the impact of cybersecurity will be large scale instead of individual instance in the vehicle world. As a worldwide leading white hat research team, we do report the findings to the manufacturers, help them to assess the impact and work with them together to fix all the issues. Our passion is to help vehicle manufacturers to improve their product security and protect users, not only for now, but, but also for future. We may act independently, but we do share the mission with manufacturers such as BMW. Sin, when and how did you decide to choose BMW vehicles as your research object? Just like Samuel said, our research focus is on connected and intelligent vehicles. And our goal is to improve the security and the safety for drivers, passengers and pedestrians. Popular car brands and makers will naturally become our research target. We began to research on BMW since January 2017. And personally, I like the BMW brand a lot. Many people see BMW as their dream car, so that we wish to make BMW cars more secure. Wen Kai, how did you start? What were the first steps and how does the process look like? Tell us about the lab environment and what kind of equipment you need. Uh, when we decided to do research on BMW, we chose the electrical car uh, IC as our target and uh, bought one immediately. Uh, after they play with it, uh, we found the remote control and the, the internet media features pretty awesome, um, but could be also vulnerable to cybersecurity attack as well. At the earlier stage, we bought various of vehicle issues such as infotainment unit, T-box and the gateway, and set up some benches to bring them up to make sure they can work properly. Then we verified our findings on uh, various BMW models uh, in a controlled environment. Besides the uh, ECUs, we also need some radio research tools such as USRP and the signal suppressor, and also some hardware analysis tools. Ahui, how long did you actually need to extract all the information from the control units you bought? How complicated was this? We started from the infotainment system, then the T-box, and finally the gateway and the campuses network. We made an in-depth analysis of these modules. We spent about five months on the infotainment system, three months on the T-box, and the time spent on the gateway and the campuses network is relatively short. Most of the time, we were doing software analysis of these modules using reverse engineering or fuzzing tests because the amount of the firmware is very large. To be honest, the firmware is very complicated. We need effective and productive methods to finish these things. When we found potential vulnerabilities, we would test them in a testing environment. Then, on various BMW modules in a controlled environment. Zhe Cheng, 
Can you give us some of the results of your research performed by Tencent Keen Security Lab? In our research, uh, we build a full local and remote exploit chance to manipulate ECOs on multiple campuses or with an authorized diagnostic request. Regarding the local exploit chain, when we first connected to the car with a USB stick or OBD2 cable, we were able to compromise the vehicle's infotainment system. And with logical vulnerabilities in the central gateway, it allowed us to gain control over ECOs by sending diagnostic commands from the infotainment system to the central gateway. As for the remote exploit chain, firstly, we simulated the GSM network using the SDR platform. Once we managed to make the car automatically fall back into our GSM network, we leveraged multiple software vulnerabilities to gain remote control of both T-Box and the infotainment system. Finally, uh, with the central gateway's logical vulnerabilities, we could remote gain control over ECOs through T-Box with arbitrary diagnostic commands. The BMW Group Automotive Security Network is responsible not only for the car with its many electronic control units, but also for operating and maintaining a secure connected drive backend. The security of our customers and cars is of highest importance to us. That is why the BMW Group has made automotive security a core part in our product development. We have many internal security engineers working in development and testing, but we also work together with external researchers such as Tencent's Keen Security Lab. Michael and Henrik, how does BMW Group consider the importance of cybersecurity when stepping into the new era of connectivity and autonomous driving? The BMW Group has a long history of connected vehicles. Almost 98% of all new BMW vehicles have an integrated SIM card to provide connectivity to safety and convenience services via the connected drive backend. Therefore, the BMW Group treats cybersecurity of highest importance and has made many changes from organizational as well as from technical point of view to further strengthen the automotive cybersecurity strategy. Cybersecurity and also data privacy have become a key aspect in the complete development cycle, which is vital when moving into the era of autonomous driving. Also, after a car has been developed, security is an important point. So, security operations, such as dealing with cybersecurity incidents, are an essential point in BMW Group's cybersecurity efforts. Michael, what did the process look like when we started the responsible disclosure to BMW Group about the research findings? You reported the research findings through a secure email channel that has been established with the BMW Group already last year. When we received the email, a standard process started. We reviewed the report and set up a dedicated team to work on it. After recreating and confirming the findings, the BMW security team evaluated different measures to enhance the security of the affected control units. We defined the measures and started implementing them. Right now, some of the measures are already effective. Some are still under development. By the time the technical details will be made public, all measures will be fully effective. So Oliver, how did you validate our findings and uh, come up with the countermeasure? So the BMW team initially consisted of security engineers and penetration testers whose goal was to verify the findings on a theoretical as well as on a practical level with real components. In order to verify the remote access scenarios, we used our isolated EMC chamber, which we used to set up our own GSM network without interfering with the real network operator. After the initial verification was completed, we kicked off the second phase. In this phase, we enhanced our team size and defined our mitigation strategy. Our top priority was to close the remote access portability on the infotainment system. If there were several options available, we chose the ones that worked faster and required less user interaction. We want to enhance security as quickly as possible and also implement measures that are effective in the long term. 
So how complex was it to assess the different vulnerabilities and exploits with regard to the high number of different component combinations? So the initial validation was actually quite fast. Keen Security Lab provided us with a very detailed and professional report, which made the verification quite straightforward. But what took more time was the assessment of the different hardware and software combinations that are affected. As you are aware, we have a large variety of control units in our cars, which requires a very detailed analysis of the potentially affected combinations. We also engaged our local colleagues in the different development locations, so for example in China and in the US, to account for regional differences, especially with regard to the mobile networks. Could you give us some specifics on the countermeasure you took regarding the exploits we mentioned before? Yes, of course. Our first wave of countermeasures focuses on the prevention of remote attacks. Obviously, it's key that this reaches the whole fleet as quickly as possible. Therefore, we are using the Connected Drive backend. Via the Connected Drive backend, we remotely reconfigure security settings on affected cars and we change the internal workflow for affected functionality. These measures are already being implemented and rolled out. The rollout will finish soon and it's transparent. So as a BMW driver, you will not notice the difference and BMW owners do not need to take any action for the measures to become effective. As a second wave in parallel, we are working closely with our suppliers to provide software updates for affected control units. These software updates will further improve the effectiveness of the measures we already took via the Connect Drive backend and they will enhance the security of the cars in the field as a whole. Hey Henrik, so this is a very nice BMW i3. So today the two teams had very constructive conversations on the cyber security topics for connected and intelligent vehicles. So I believe that we also learn from each other a lot. So probably I have my last question to end this conversation. Could you please share uh, with us some ideas that BMW Group will do to make the system and the components even more secure in the future? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, for us to come here to Shanghai and visit you. Uh, thank you very much for, for hosting us and thank you for um, the technical discussions that we had. I think this was very valuable for, for us as well. Um, so, to answer your question, um, so from the perspective of uh, cybersecurity in the modern car, this is becoming more and more um, important as the car is becoming more and more connected and also heading towards um, autonomous driving. This is why the BMW Group has a very strong security organization which covers all aspects from very early development until the car goes into production. And this also includes um, BMW internal penetration tests. But this is not all. Let me come back to your question. Um, so you know that cybersecurity challenges are arising every day and therefore uh, the reaction has to be very fast. So we have developed a technique called over-the-air updates, which we will have implemented in the next generation of our BMW cars, so that we can bring security updates to the customer faster and more convenient. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you, Sam. <laughs>